Hello again vinyl community and cassette community and I say that because today I will be unboxing some tapes um, very generously sent to me by Vincent M. Um, he is somebody who watches my videos and subscribes. Um, I don't think he makes his own videos and I, I apologize if that's not the case. Um, but um, yeah, so his, Vincent M is his username. This box has come all the way from Northeast Michigan. So very cool, halfway across the country. And we're gonna unbox it. Now, you guys know that I like my tapes and I've done a number of videos um, about cassettes. And Vincent um, has seen some of those videos and he very kindly offered to send me some cassettes. He sent me a list. He said he had some some spare tapes and um, so I picked a few out now to be honest I don't actually remembered all of the ones that I picked out so there's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for me too but uh, yeah so uh, thank you in advance Vincent very very kind of you and Vincent also um, uh, refused to take any money for the shipping he, he paid for for all of that so uh, yeah very generous indeed thank you so let's have a look see what we've got we've got uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of padding in here and we've got our tapes here let's have a look he might uh, he might have sent me more than I ordered I don't or more than I it wasn't really an order they were free but more you know more than more than the ones I requested um, I because I, I it seems like there's quite a few tapes in here. I thought I, I only asked for about five of them, so <laughs> maybe I'm remembering wrong. He's got this he's got this done up real tight. There we go. Okay. I do appreciate good packaging, actually. Um some of you guys might know who have seen some of my eBay debacle videos. I've had a number of experiences um with sellers. Now I realize that Vincent wasn't selling me the tapes he was very generously donating them, but um, but I've had bad experiences with people where people on eBay have sent me stuff, and uh, the packaging has been less than ideal. <laughs> and so, um, oh, maybe I did ask for all these. I certainly I, I recognize that these these first ones. Um, I can't remember. Um, no, no, he's definitely sent me a couple of extras. Um, I'm pretty sure he has. Um, so. Let's have a look. There are uh, 10 tapes here and I'll start off with the ones here that I, I remember that uh, were the ones that I, I asked if he would kindly send me. So Leonard Skinner, Gold and Platinum. Um, I've, I've seen and turned up or, or, or turned down, I should say, the opportunity to buy this on vinyl and I kind of regretted it. Um, I, I found it in a thrift store once and um, yeah, and I didn't buy it for whatever reason. And I and I, I afterwards I thought, you know, I should have gotten that because I like Leonard Skinner. So I'm very pleased to have this on tape. And just at a glance, all of these cassettes look like they're in awesome condition. They really do. So yeah, thank you, Vince. I really, um, really appreciate how well you've taken care of these. Very, very nice condition. Awesome. So Leonard Skinner, gold and platinum. Next up, we have. The Who's Greatest Hits, if the camera will focus, and I guess it kind of is. Um, and uh, this looks like it's a compilation from 1983. And uh, let's see what we have on here. We have, uh, okay, all the classics. Substitute, The Seeker, which is one of my favorite Who tracks. Magic Bus, My Generation, Pinball Wizard, Happy Jack, Won't Get Forward Again. And on side two, we have My Wife, Squeezebox, that's another one of my favorite Who tracks, The Relay, 515, Love Rain Omi, and Who Are You? Awesome. Awesome. And really nice selection. And I mean, it spans like a good chunk of their career. All the, you know, we have the 60s stuff with like Happy Jack, My Generation, Magic Bus. Then we move into like the 70s stuff with like um, The Seeker and Squeezebox, etc. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Really pleased to get that, really pleased. Next up we have Fine Young Cannibals, The Raw and The Cooked, classic album from the 80s. Um, I, I, no, I don't think I do have this. I was just thinking to myself, do I already have this on vinyl? But I don't think I do. I might have it on CD, 
but I wasn't sure. So, um, and I like the Fine Yang Cannibals. The, the, I liked them a lot back in the day. And this was definitely, I don't think this was their best album. Uh, and I say that just because I'm really not familiar with their other albums, but I, I'm almost certain this is their most well-known album for sure. And let's see, this has She Drives Me Crazy on it. That was, of course, in a way, kind of their big breakout here. They, they'd had a few songs that charted before that, but that, that was the song that kind of got a lot of people's attention. Uh, it also has Good Thing. That was also a hit. Uh, I'm Not the Man I Used to Be. That was another hit as well. I think that one uh, possibly was in 89, even though the album came out in 88. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Ever Fallen in Love. That was another hit as well on side two. So yeah, really, uh, really good album. Excellent. Next we have Tina Turner, Break Every Rule. Again, I'm trying to get the camera to focus. There it goes. Takes a few seconds. Um, and this is, uh, I think from what, the mid 80s or early 80s? 86, mid 80s. And uh, this has, um, let's see what songs do I recognize? Okay, Typical Male. Um, what you get is what you see, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't actually recognize too many tracks on here. Um, Break Every Rule, possibly recognize that one too. So, okay, maybe there's a, there's a few that I do recognize. But yeah, I mean, it's Tina Turner. It's always going to be good, right? And then... The, the certainly better known Tina Turner Private Dancer. This was a bigger hit, camera won't focus. Okay, whatever. Uh, this was, um, this definitely has, this was more of a, a, an international hit for her. So we've got um, the classic What's Love Got To Do With It. Uh, better Be Good To Me, that was a hit. Let's Stay Together and Private Dancer. So yeah, several, several of her biggest hits on here. And I, I think I possibly have this on vinyl, but again, you know, it's one of those things I couldn't remember for sure. And this would not be the first cassette that I have in multiple formats anyway. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, Vincent was saying that, you know, he, these were just cassettes that he, I think he had like duplicates off some of them or, or they were just cassettes he didn't want. And he was, he was going to just give them away to, to a thrift store. So he, he sort of said, you know, why not give them to somebody who he knows is going to, um, listen to them, appreciate them, and so on. So, so I definitely do appreciate it. Uh, next up, we have Aretha Franklin, kind of self-titled, just called Aretha. Now, I think, yeah, I thought this was the album I was thinking of. So, um, this has the big hit with uh, George Michael. I knew you were waiting for me. It's one of my favorite songs of the eighties. A great track. Um, but I don't know that I know any of the other songs on, on it. I, I had told myself that this was the album that had Who Zoom In Who on it, but it, it's actually not. It's the one after that, I think. Um, but it's worth it just for the George Michael duet. I mean, that's a great track. Really great. And again, it's sort of like, um, uh, like Tina Turner. Aretha Franklin's always good. You know, you, you really can't go wrong. Um, next up, and I think this is the last of the ones possibly that I had asked for. There might be one more. Um, this is Miami Sound Machine, Primitive Love. Um, this is from, let's see, 80, 85. Oh, I said a little bit. I thought this was from a year or two, a year or two before that, but I guess not. Uh, let's see what songs do I recognize. Um, Oh, it has Conga. Okay, I do know Conga. It's a little bit of a classic. Um, Words Get In The Way. That was also released as a single. And possibly Bad Boy as well. I'm not too sure about that. But but yeah, yeah it's Miami Sound Machine. It's good. it's good 80s pop music. And now we have uh, the final three cassettes that I do not remember asking for. <laughs> I, I may be asked for this one. I'm not sure about this. This is called Hot Tracks. It's a compilation album. Is it KTEL? Yeah, it's a KTEL compilation. Maybe I did ask for this one. And um, this has, uh, let's see, where's the track listing? Here we go. Okay, Michael Sambello, Maniac, Eurythmic, Sweet Dreams, Rick Springfield, Human Touch, 
Billy Idol, White Wedding, Styx, Mr. Roboto, Christa Berg, Don't Play the Ferryman, The Animals, The Night. And on side two, we have The Police, King of Pain, Brian Adams this time, Def Leppard, Rock of Ages, Wall of Voodoo, Mexican Radio, uh, Naked Eyes, Promises, Promises, Patrick Simmons, So Wrong, and Shalimar, Dead Giveaway. It's got some pretty good stuff on here. You know, Eurythmics and Def Leppard, The Police. Um, yeah. Um, uh, you guys might have seen, I, I used to have a bunch of K-Tel and Bronco albums on vinyl. I got rid of them. I traded them in a, at a record store for basically nothing. I got you know, like pennies on the dollar for each one. And it wasn't because I don't like compilation albums. In fact, you guys probably know I love my British compilation albums. But the, the K-Tels were notorious for sounding terrible on vinyl. But that's not really the case on cassette. They sounded bad on vinyl because they packed so many tracks onto each side that you just lost a lot of the, um, the resolution uh, of, of each track. Um, but it's a little bit of a different situation with cassette because you've got, uh, you've got a little more room uh, to put the tracks on. So I'm going to be curious to see what this sounds like. And it's got some great stuff on it. And then these two, I'm almost certain I didn't ask for. I'd like to think I would have remembered. But, um, so these, I guess, are, are little, little bonus tapes. So thank you, Vincent. Really appreciate These are very intriguing. These are... Greenpeace Rainbow Warriors, it's a two cassette uh, lot or collection. And this has got some really good stuff on it. Now I'm not gonna get into kind of the politics when it comes to Greenpeace, whether you agree or not. I'm fairly neutral on it, um, but check out this track listing. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the first volume. U2, Pride in the Name of Love. Belinda Carlisle, actually that's a live version. Uh, Belinda Carlisle, Heaven is a Place on Earth. Sting, Love is a Seventh Wave. Terence Trent Darby, Let's Go Forward. I don't think I know that one. Hmm. Uh, World Party, Ship of Fools. Brian Ferry, Don't Stop the Dance. Lou Reed, Last Great American Whale. Uh, Eurythmics, When Tomorrow Comes. The Pretenders, Middle of the Road. Grateful Dead, Throwing Stones. In Excess This Time. Thompson Twins, Lay Your Hands on Me. I love that. That's a great 80s track. Huey Lewis and the News, Small World, and Talking Heads, City of Dreams. So what an amazing, what an amazing track listing. That's, um, that's seriously impressive, actually. Um, it really is. So let's now look at volume two, see if it's as equally exciting. And it, at a glance, it looks like it is. So we start off with Simple Minds, Waterfront. The Water Boys, The Hole of the Moon. REM, It's the End of the World as We Know It. John Farnham, You're the Voice, Aswad, Set Them Free, Brian Adams, Somebody, um, I never know how to pronounce this, um, Bazia, Bazia, I know the song Time and Tide, I don't know this song, uh, Miles Away, uh, Peter Gabriel, Red Rain, Bruce Hornsby in the Range, Look Out Any Window, uh, Martin Stevenson and the Dainties, Holy Humble Heart, I have never heard of that before, so that's going to be interesting, uh, Sade, I Will Be Your Friend, John Cougar, Mellencamp, We Are The People, and Dire Straits, Why Worry. So that's another really, really top-notch uh, uh, track listing. Um, and, and a few that I don't know on there as well. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to be intrigued to, to have a listen to that. Yeah. And actually, now that I look at it, Volume 2 actually has Side 3 and Side... Getting the camera, Side 4 right there. So... These cassettes were meant to go together. They probably actually sold together and, and not as separate volumes. Um, I'm going to be taking this to work tomorrow and listening to it. This is, this is a great, great track listing. Yeah, I've been taking the Walkman that Gregory Short gave me. I've been taking that to work and putting some tapes on, which is a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Vincent. Uh, not just for these, but for the other tapes as well. Um, super generous and... Um, yeah, I, I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the fact that these are in such good condition. Um, appreciate you giving me the, the opportunity to select which ones that I was interested in. And appreciate the little bonus here too. I really do. It's very, very kind, very generous of you. Um, that's it. That's it. I, I will possibly have some more videos as well. One more video this weekend. So thank you guys as always for watching. And until next time, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.